today we're going to start by using frog to do subtractions counting up so i'm going to start by sharing my screen with you so you can see what we're going to be doing Okay, we're going to find the difference between pairs of numbers within the same century. That means the same set of hundreds. So today, Frog is going to find the difference between two three-digit numbers. Let's try 162 take away 135. Underneath, I've got my number line with the beginning number marked and the end number. We're going to mark 135 on the left and then 162 on the right over here for 135, and then at the other end on the right, 162. Frog is ready to go. He's gonna jump. He's not gonna jump all the way. He's gonna break it down into some stages. First, he jumps five to get to the next 10, which is 140. Then he jumps 20, from 140 all the way to 160. If that's a bit of a challenge for you, you could do two tens. You could jump from 140 to 150, and then from 150 to 160. And can you see, he's just got a little bit further to go. He's got two more to go from 160 to 162. Now we're gonna add these jumps together. Remember, we always start with the largest number when we're adding and add the smaller numbers to it. So 20, add five, add two. Five and two is seven. 20 and seven is 27. So 162 take away 135 is, yes, that's right, it's 27. Well done. Let's do the next one together. Maybe you could have a go on a piece of paper as I go with you. Let's find a difference between pairs of numbers with the same within the same century again. This time we're gonna look at the 400s. We're gonna try 471, take away 425. Have a little think, what number goes on the left? That's this side of the screen. And what number are you going to put on the right over here? Write them, draw out your line now, and then write your numbers on. You can press pause if you're waiting, okay? and then start again when you're ready to do the next stage. Okay, let's go. Let's check. 425, very good, and 471. Frog is ready to leap. He jumps five to 430. Can you think where he's gonna jump to next? Remember, if you can't do the big jump, you can split it into little jumps of 10. Have a go at drawing that now. Press pause, and then when you're ready to go to the next stage, press play again. That's right, he jumps 40 more. That could be from 430, 440, 450, 460, 470, and stop there. 40 more from 430 to 470. And then as you can see at the end, he's just got a tiny little jump of one more to the end. Now. Have you had a chance to add these numbers up yet? Can you jot that down in your piece of paper? Press pause, write it down. And then when you're ready and you've got your answer, you can press play and you can check. Remember, we put the numbers from the biggest to the smallest when we're adding. So start with 40 and then add five and then add one. Easy peasy, five add one is six. Brilliant, well done. And have you got the other bit? 40 add 6, 46, fantastic, well done everybody. Now, that means that if you write it out as a sum, 471 take away 425 is 46. Fantastic, let's have a go at the next one. The next number is 893 take away 838. Draw a new line in your books, mark off the beginning and the end and write your numbers in. Press pause when you're ready. Press play again when you filled it in. Okay, let's check you've got that bit right. Very good, you've got your beginning and end. And as you can see, Frog 
appears when you press play. He appears and he's ready to jump. Now I want you to press pause again and I want you to draw on the jumps as much as you can and see if you can do this on your own and then we'll check it together. Frog starts at 838 and jumps 2 to 840. And then he jumps 50 from 840 to 890. I hope you've remembered that if you find that a little bit challenging, you can break his jump of 50 into little individual 10 steps. He can go 840, 850, 860, 870, 880, 890. Stop there. Don't go on to 900 because you can see the end number is 893. Don't go too far. And finally, he jumps three more to take him from 890 to 893. Have you written the sum out yet? Just pause it if you haven't, and write the sum out, remembering to start biggest to smallest in your addition. Add the jumps. 50, add three, add two. Have you got 55? Fantastic. Have you written it as a whole sum? 893 take away 835 38 is 55 brilliant if you've done that give yourself a pat on the back are you top bananas bendy bendy in the middle or are you spiky spiky pineapples on the top but you're doing fantastic keep going everyone In case you find that a little difficult, I wanted to show you something we've done before in class. So here we are, here's my favorite on the Active Learn Froggy Jumps. Let's get ready to share. Here we go. So we're gonna look at a small number. We're gonna look at 72 take away 37. Let's watch Frog on this one. I've got all those numbers marked out for you. Are you ready? Let's make him jump. I love a good jump. What's that number? Have a little think. Did you get it right? Brilliant. He's going to take the next jump. This is what I mean by when you can break it down into just smaller steps. How many tens is that that he's jumped? That's right, it's 30. 10. 20, 30. If you're able, you can jump straight from 40 to 70. But if that's a challenge, remember this is the slightly easier way when you can do every little count of 10. And finally, he's just got one little step more to go from 70 to 72. Will he catch a fly? I see his tongue flicking out. He's coming to get it. Oh, he's happy. Yes, he got his fly. And now we're going to add up these numbers. Hmm. It says, Three, add 10, add 10, add 10, add two is 35. But we know, as we looked earlier, it's much easier to add up your tens and start with your biggest number first, 10, 20, 30. Then add three, 33. Then add two, 35. Fantastic. And don't forget to write it out as a whole sum. Shall we try one a little bit harder? Okay, here we go. Let's make it three digit to three digit, just like we did before. Let's put something in the 700s. 756, take away 729. Let's have a go at that one. Are you ready? Okay, his first jump. Really easy. There's only three steps they've been written on there. But will he take a few extra jumps? He will if you need him to. Let's go, Frog. Let's jump. Why is he skipping those other stages? Well, that's because this frog is very clever. If you're ready for this, some of you are, you can just go straight for this. and add those two numbers together. From 730 to 756 is 26, and then one more is 27. Excellent if you did that, really good. Give yourselves a pat on the back again. You've done fantastically. 
Are you a top banana? Bendy bendy in the middle? Or are you a top pineapple? Spiky spiky on the top. Either way, I'm proud of you and you're fantastic. Okay, you can now go on and have a go at some of the works on the sheets that you've got this week. Have a little look, have a little try in your books. If you get stuck, you can always come back to this video. You can always have another try. Have a great day and enjoy the rest of your, your work. Speak soon.